Okay, YouTube, uh, this is the status that I'm at with this frame. Um, this is the section I was telling you about that uh, it's been like that because the muffler and the uh, gas tank attach in those areas. So anyway, I have that one made and I primered it. And I have the other one, I started bolting it in. I'm going to use grade 8 bolts and a half inch that ought to hold this thing. And um, then after I get one more bracket, one more brace I need at this end. And then I'm going to be able to uh, paint it black. And then after that I'll uh, start making all the little brackets that go for the shock mounts and all those other things. So anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Um, this piece was, uh, no, I wouldn't say it was difficult to make, but it was certainly time consuming. And uh, it's built for rigidity and strength the way that they had it. So I just copied what they had and went from there. So I think it's going to be fine. And the same thing with this. I didn't copy the one Chevy had for this back cross member, but I know that this width cross member will cover the triangular shape that they had there to uh, brace the frame. So I'm not worried about that either. And I've measured the frame repeatedly while I've been working on this. It's 37 and an eighth inches. Um, sorry about that. 37 and an eighth inches when you're in line with the um, the spring perch uh, rear bolts because at that point you can't measure that 37 and 8 anywhere else but at the where the spring perches go which is here and there from this back set of bolts measuring from one side to the other 37 and an eighth and then um, the next measurement I have is when I measure through the center of this brace, it's 43 uh, three and 3 quarters. I don't know if you can make that out there. I had checked the end of the frame as well, measured that, and I checked the frame on the truck, and I was off a 16th, which I don't think is a big deal, because that 16th I have 5 feet in which to correct that. So what I'll do is I'll put this uh, other brace on here, cross member, at the bottom of the frame right in here and then I'm going to go ahead and weld more of this frame onto this with the uh, 8 inch beam or 8 inch channel that I have there. But I got a lot of work to do to be able to make all those parts that are going to fit this frame so that, you know, if I go to buy parts for the truck or whatever, they're going to fit without giving me any grief. So, that's where I stand so far. I get back to you is when uh, I get something else done. I'm sort of retired, semi-retired, and I'm not as fast as I used to be. But uh, it's a heck of a project. And uh, my truck bed came out really nice. This is, I had done another sanding on it. And then I put the final uh, finished coat of, uh, I want to say spackling, but not spackling, body putty on it. And then I uh, sanded it down real good. So what I knew with 180, then I coated it up, primered it again. So what I need to do now is break the surface of that coating with 180 and then go ahead and uh, wet sand that with 400. And then I'll be ready to spray it. So I think I'm going to spray the truck white and uh, be done with it. I have a blue interior in this truck, which I don't really care for the blue interior, but uh, white's about the only color that goes with it besides blue. And I'm not too crazy about blue. But I do like the truck, and it was cheap when I bought it. So, All right, anyway, that's where I stand. So, again... Um, with uh, when I welded this thing together, I actually cut the I cut the main section of this out with a pattern, and I have the patterns. And then I cut these top flanges off and welded them together. Welded a piece into the bottom there, 
and then I uh, uh, figured out where it should sit exactly, marked it, fit it in there, and then I put braces, not braces, but tabs to be able to bolt it in more than just the one place they had it bolted in that, which is, I think, will come out good. So, alright, that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.